G'day Junkers and aficionados of the obscure kitchen appliances and odds and sundries. This is the Abianco Egg Cooker. It's a Audi brand. So, uh, made in China. Let's have a look. Not much to it. Basic operation is plug it in. Um, let's use this measuring cup, and if you're cooking eggs, then you pierce the uh, the fat end with that, and then you read off the handy chart how many milliliters to put in this very shallow tray. So this thing has to be on a level surface. And then you put the water there. And surprisingly, the more eggs that you uh, cook, the less water. I think that's because the eggs dip down and sort of displace the water. So basically when this runs dry, it automatically turns off, at least in theory. Now apparently you can also poach eggs using that, and apparently you can steam a very small quantity of vegetables. I haven't used it, but let's have a go at taking it apart and see what's inside. Quite a, a long cord considering. I wonder if that will no. The model number here is EC1, so that's fairly uh, explanatory. Egg cooker one. I'm sure there's different brands. They all kind of come out of China. Okay. Shorter bolt. Dark, but never mind. Okay. It looks like we've got the red on the top. in the middle Not white. Well, it's white. red white covered red
bit stubborn. And the blue at the bottom. Remember that for us. Might come in useful later. bit of circuitry in here which is interesting very interesting I'll switch okay we have the standard fuse we have the heating element this looks like uh, Cast aluminium bonded onto stainless steel. We've got a uh, temper con temperature control here. Safety fuse. A buzzer. Uh, integrated circuit LG 1214, which I should really look up. And a couple of resistors just to theory would be that the circuit, the the IC, is looking looking across the temperature controlled cutoff here so when it cuts off this integrated circuit my guess okay don't quote me creates a square square wave that sends it and activates the buzzer. But it could be more complicated than that. Considering this only can run on 5 volts, and this is running 240 volts in here, it's more than likely diode rectifies it and cuts the voltage down possibly a voltage splitter hmm bit of guesswork here but um fragile but okay That's a very quick one, and uh, I'll see you later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. -ya.